everyone, welcome back to the garden. And man oh man, it's been a while since we have last made a garden update. But I figured it was about time. I'm trying to stay on top of things here in the yard and not get behind. But, uh, you know, I'm already behind. Uh, I have started winter sowing. Uh, I don't have any of the trays yet to show you, but I have started the process. I've started with my snapdragons and everything. So we have... We've got winter snowing, winter snowing, winter sowing underway. Um, it is snowing here. It has been snowing here. We've been getting these weird light dustings of like half an inch of snow like every other day. But luckily nothing's sticking. Nothing's, you know, doing anything. The hoop house is still intact as you can see here. Um, going around the yard, let's take a quick look. Uh, most of the daffodils ha are not doing anything yet, but there are some signs of growth there. So we'll see what happens with that. The tulips are not growing. Nothing's going on. Uh, however, the Dutch irises have come up. Um, it's just one of those things. Some years the Dutch irises come up, some years they don't. We have a wide range of Dutch irises this year that I've planted. Hopefully they will be beautiful and we will be able to see them, but they are coming up despite the fact that it's still pretty cold and uh, we're still seeing freezing nights and stuff like that. Uh, looking elsewhere around just the yard, you can see that the um, biennial bed is doing fine. I have this little layer of frost blanket over it for nights which are especially cold, but um, the Bells of Ireland is struggling. They're very, very small. I don't know what's going to happen there. Uh, the Sweet William Dianthus appear to be struggling. Again, I don't know what's going to happen there. Basically, this flower bed gets a lot of shade from the hoop house because it's not, it's facing south. And um, I think that results in things being frozen right here a lot longer than normal. And so we've seen a little bit of damage, but they're still alive. They're just not growing well. I think they will take off as soon as the weather starts to warm up and we open that hoop house and take the plastic off. Uh, then though we'll get plenty of sun, uh, which I think will very will help them very much. Uh, looking at other stuff uh, outside of the hoop house, we have this mini low tunnel with just an Agrabon 50 frost blanket on it that we have. Uh, we actually have our anemone coronaria in here. We have a jaguar mix, pastel mix anemone, and just a I think that's called caramel white. Anemone is the varieties that we planted this year and uh, you'll remember when we first planted them They were just teeny tiny little nothings, but all seems to go well um, Knock on wood, but our winter so far has been very very warm the coldest night we've had so far was I believe 14 Fahrenheit uh, But every all the other times it's been well into the 20s so uh, we're actually having a very mild winter so far and it makes me nervous even to say that out loud so hopefully uh, things with the anemones will continue to grow and to continue to uh, just put on a lot of foliage and look really, really good. Uh, we usually start to see blooms on the anemones by the en end of um, February and into the first weeks of March. So we'll have to keep an eye on them and watch out for our first blooms. That'll be uh, really exciting to see. Hopefully we have a great year for anemones this year. I've had trouble with anemones for the past few years. Going into the hoop house, things are doing well. Everything looks pretty good. Uh, just going down the rows, we can see this side of the hoop house has our ranunculus. You can see that I've had the row cover on the ranunculus in addition to closing and opening and closing the hoop house as needed, depending upon the weather. Those ranunculus that were very, very small um, in our last update video have gotten quite a bit bigger, which I am glad to see. I, admittedly, I was very, very worried about them. Uh, we have lost some things to the cold. For example, we lost our Gerber daisies to the cold, so they can't take too much cold, apparently. Uh, learned that lesson the hard way, I guess. And, um, you know, the, an, the ranunculus that had a head start on the other ranunculus is very, very big now. Those are getting very large. Uh, the center of the hoop house, we still have some of those sweet peas growing up among the ranunculus. Again, I don't know how that's going to play out this year. It should be an interesting combination to see, but so far everything looks nice and healthy. Also in the middle of the hoop house there, we have our pansies. Uh, the pansies are putting on quite a bit of size and the pansies look just uh, very, very robust. I'm excited to see all the different pansies that we planted this year because we have a lot of kind of fancier varieties is what I would consider them. Uh, hopefully they will be just very, very pretty colors. 
Uh, also, the things like the calendula and the other side are looking good. Uh, we have our carnations are looking good. I, I would expect them to be a little bit bigger by now, but it, hopefully, you know, they'll bloom the first season because I don't have the room to let these perennialize. Um, the Icelandic poppies and the scented stalks are the worst looking things in the hoop house right now. Um, you recall, I let them get way too big in the trays before we transplanted them and I transplanted them very, very late. They are alive. They are still growing. Um, but they are just all over the ground. They look straggly. I don't know how they're going to do. I don't know how they're going to bloom. But for now, I'm just going to be cautiously optimistic and hope for the best. That's all we can do. And, you know, worst case scenario, if things don't go the way we wanted them to, we can always just pull them out and replace them with another flower. That's just how it goes sometimes, especially, you know, when you're pressed for time and things are out of your control. That's just how it goes. Uh... Looking, last but not least in the hoop house, we have the ornamental kale. It's more or less the same. The colors are nice and vibrant right now because the weather is cold. And with things like kale and cabbages, um, you know, when the weather is cooler, the colors are bright and vibrant. I really hope that when spring comes, that these start putting on like active growth to where that we can use them in cut flower arrangements because right now they are just very very small that's really about it for the hoop house without going into too much details of every single little tiny thing that is kind of crammed in here in the little nooks and crannies uh, there are a lot of just you know individual flowers that i crammed in here of different types but uh, the main thing that we're really looking at for spring are our ranunculus and our anemones and of course our tulips and daffodils uh, hopefully we'll just be able to pick buckets and buckets of those beautiful flowers and hopefully we will once again be able to donate them again. Um, you know, hopefully in the next few months things really just get better in the world. And that's all I can hope for is more flowers and just things getting better. I think a lot of people would agree with that. Um, that's really about it for this video. I know that it was really, really a short one and I really appreciate you and I appreciate that you watch this and support this channel. Um, if you could, if you could do me a favor and leave a comment, um, it means so, so much to the YouTube algorithm when people leave comments. I can't, I've started asking for comments and I cannot begin to tell you the difference it has made. So if you like this channel, um, and you'd like to support it, that's the easiest way is just to leave a comment. It means it just, it helps so much. Thank you so much for watching. Um, as always, the links to all our stuff is down in the description. So the links to the blog and uh, links to Instagram and stuff like that. If you want to follow us over on Instagram, you're more than welcome to, of course. Uh, I hope that you guys are having such a great day. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye guys.